In this tutorial, we are going to talk about exporting your design as a 3D PDF document in SimLab Composer. This is a model of an Xbox controller, and we are going to prepare it for a presentation as a PDF document with the use of the Scene States feature. Click on the Scene States menu and select Capture. Scene States is an option that allows you to save several attribute preferences for your scene. Those preserved sets of attributes can be used in a 3D PDF document to turn the model into an interactive object with customizable properties. Some of the attributes that Scene States can capture are materials, cameras and lights, to name a few. To create a scene state for the camera view, set your viewing camera in the desired angle and disable all the attributes from the Scene States Manager except for the camera attributes and then click Capture. You can save multiple scene states for the camera by simply changing the angle and clicking Capture. To capture the material attribute, Disable the camera's attribute and enable the materials attribute from the scene state manager and then click capture. Now that you've captured the materials in the scene into a scene state, you can modify the object's appearance by adjusting the material's color, for example, and then clicking capture scene states again. To access the scene states that have been created, select the scene states tab from the SimLab Composer's Navigator. Dragging the preserved scene states or double-clicking it will apply the attributes contained in that scene state to your 3D scene. Once you're satisfied with the scene states that you've created, you can proceed to the creation of the PDF document. Click on the File menu and go to 3D PDF where you can export a PDF document, modify the PDF settings, merge several PDF files, or embed the PDF document in a web page. Click on the PDF settings. In the first tab of the settings window, you can choose a design template for the PDF file. There is a big collection of templates provided in SimLab Composer with different themes to choose from. You can also create a new template or edit an existing one. Click on New to create a template. That will initiate SimLab Template Designer, where you can edit a template or create a new one. Set the width and height of the template, and click OK to generate an empty file with the size you specified. The background properties are displayed to the left. You can select a single color to fill the background, a linear gradient, or an image file. Set it to Image to browse your files and select an image to be set as the background. Click on the 3D area and then click on the template to place the 3D area. Click and drag the 3D area to accurately position it where you need it, and use the red draggers to change the shape and size of the 3D area. To add a title to the template, click on the text icon and click on the top portion of the template. In the font dialog window, type in the title and set the font type and size, and then click OK. To activate the created scene states, create buttons and link them to the scene states. To do so, create a rectangle, and from the panel to the left, adjust its appearance as you see fit. Since there are six scene states created earlier, we would need to create five more buttons, 
or simply duplicate the existing rectangle by pressing Ctrl and C and then Ctrl and V. Or you can right click the rectangle and select Copy, then right click again on the template and select Paste. Once you have distributed the buttons on the template, create text captions denoting the scene states and place them above the rectangles. To edit the text in the copied caption, double-click it to open the font dialog window. Now that you're done with the design, all that's left to do is to connect the buttons to the scene states. To do so, Click on the first button, and from the left panel, click on the Type drop-down list. You can select from this list what action needs to be taken once the button is clicked in the PDF file. You can link the buttons to a website, display a message box, control an animation, run a script, or call a scene state. Set it to Scene State. And in the New Text field, Type in the name of the scene state that you have created in SimLab Composer. In this case, it will be Top. Select the second caption. Set the type to scene state and type in Side. Proceed until all scene states are connected to their corresponding buttons. Once you're done, go to File and select Save. Set the name and path of the template and click Save. Close the Template Designer and go back to SimLab Composer. Click Refresh, then select the template you have just created. In the second tab of the PDF settings, you can select background music to play while the document is open. You can also set a password that will be required to be typed upon the opening of the PDF document. In the 3D tab, you can select whether or not to show or hide the 3D toolbar and the world axes. You can also disable the selection of components in the PDF document. You can also have the model tree open to display a list of all the components in your scene. You can set the navigation mode, render mode, and the default light type from this tab as well. Those modes can later be changed while the PDF document is open via the 3D toolbar. The Show SimLab Buttons Bar option will display buttons to switch between your cameras and your scene states. Automatic Transition will switch views between cameras automatically. In the Animation tab, Set the rate of displaying animation frames in the FPS field and determine the playing mode of the animation. In the Advanced tab, you have the option to run a JavaScript or a 3D JavaScript with the PDF file. Other options you have in this page are to disable measurements, preserve image resolution in full screen, and set which parameters to export along with the PDF document. Click on Save Current Settings as default and click on Export 3D PDF. Set the path and the name of the PDF and click Save. In the Scene States Manager window, you can determine which scene states to export along with the PDF document. Keep them all checked and click OK. Clicking any button will activate the scene state connected to that button.
An additional SimLab Composer feature that complements the 3D PDF is Texture Baking. Texture Baking is a process that calculates the values of light and shadows along with the materials in the scene, and converts them to a texture map that mimics the behavior of a rendered image when applied to the model. This allows the user to view the model in a rendered quality from several angles without the need to render each angle separately. You can export models that have baked textures applied to them in the same fashion as regular models. More explanations and tutorials on texture baking can be found on SimLabSoft's official website. SimLab Composer's ability to export sophisticated 3D models as a 3D PDF document combined with the template designer makes for a great tool that can professionally present your designs and easily customize your demonstrations.